Ring. There's a boss fight. This is most... Oh, gosh. This is most definitely a boss... Why am I... I guess I am losing. I can't focus. Focus now. We're gonna... We have a solution! Let me change to something less aggressive. Hold on. There we go. Ooh. Hello. Hi. And welcome to Tuesday. All right! Vigorous! Hello, hi! Hello, Dawn, John, and Chat. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday! Thank you for the hundred bits! I know it's not the right region. The closest I can get. I'd if you saw my message, but I put the video in the game's Discord for you to see later. Okay, thank you. Yeah, apparently uh, Jensen Eccles did a commercial for this game. Camera, we are high over here. Did a commercial for this game. I haven't seen it yet. I want to play a little bit of the game first, and then I'll go watch the commercial. Because you know what? I'm, I'm doing this blind. I don't know anything about the game at all. Except for when it was announced at E3 over a year ago. Was it a year ago? Or was it the year before that? I think it was last year. Um, I've heard a few things, but I'm trying to not like ignore it. Like, I like, I don't know why. I like going into the game not knowing anything about it at all. No trailers, no, no comparisons to what other games it's like. Nothing at all. So, I don't know. I just, not even like how the UI looks, nothing. I like being like, oh, oh, this is interesting. As for the camera thing, rather than trying different cameras, we're going a different route now. I got one of those extendable arm things to attach the camera to, and I'm gonna try and so I lost my job again today, oh, and all no. because I had an emotional breakdown in the work truck on my way to a five-part ship movement from stress, lack of sleep, and emotion overflow, which I just learned about the moment I got into the office. Oh no! Good vibes to you, bloody angel. You know what? You were probably too good for that job anyhow. Screw them! <laughs> you know what? I really, like I said, you know, Things happen for a reason, because sometimes shitty things happen. You're like, why the fuck is this happening? It happens for a reason. Maybe you would have injured yourself there, or it's just not the right place for you. The cosmos says, no, this isn't right for you. There's something better. They don't deserve you. Screw them. <laughs> But I, I I know it sucks. It makes for a shitty day. So good vibes to you. I hope your day gets better. Um, poopy. Stryker says we're in our birthday suits. Yeah, because we're not... I didn't put your Hogwarts on. And I wanted your guys' heart. Atomic heart. I wanted your heart to show. Your heart. Hearts. So we got one of those movable bendy arms. Because... What I, what I did realize from the, the document camera that I bought and I'm returning is if I put the camera here, like under, here's, here's, here's my chin. My chin is at this height. If I put the camera right here under my chin, but point it here and down, this guy will be right about here maybe. And then I could zoom out because right now I'm cropped he in. He accused me of trying a fucking ploy on him to not do work. Mind you, he also punished me for twisting my ankle and getting a bruise, plus calling out a couple of times last week after working nonstop for almost an entire month for family emergency slash illness. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's pooper. Oh boy. Things will get better. Things will get better. I promise. Hold on, let me try this other light here. Because I feel like maybe if I give more light, it'll focus better. 
Um, what is that? Oh, that's me. Things will get better. I'm sorry. Bosses are poopy. Bosses are poopy sometimes. Sometimes they're poops and they don't get better. Bosses are poopy sometimes. Throw a puppy at it. <laughs> Hi, Slopez says, hey, I'm a boss, but you're probably one of those good, awesome bosses. Did you, sh did you, did you show up because of the, this chick? Is that why you're here? <laughs> Hello. Atomic heart more like atomic fart. Oh. <laughs> Dawn is endorsing throw a puppy, throwing a puppy at someone. Yeah. When you're feeling sad and down, throw a puppy at it. Saved by the bell. I just got back from doing errands and have a Viking choke berry to plant. I'm not making it up. Oh. Whoa. I, I, I like the idea of planting things. I just... I, I tend... I can't keep anything alive. So, hey, Slopez, it's good to see you here. How are you doing? Hello, Cloud Guard. How are you? Um, yeah, we throw puppies and kittens at, at problems. In, in picture meme form. You know what I'm saying? Um... So yeah. Um what else is happening? I had a boss who fired a guy for chewing gum. Then he got mad cause he fired the guy and asked who did the job. Uh, <laughs> stupid. Slopez, I'm betting you're a good boss. <laughs> It's yeah, we'll, we'll see the days. They're Mardi Gras. I had a desktop, but I decided to have the Atomic Heart desktop instead. Um, Sloba says, My lady friend is sick, so she can't come over. I'm currently buried under a needy pit bull. Aww, see, throw a puppy at it. So I guess I'm kind of stuck here currently. Well, that just means you're stuck with us. Hope it isn't too painful. <laughs> Gosh, stuck with us. <laughs> Thank you, annoying feather for treating Pando. Um, Cloudguard says, I got a PS2 copy of Tales of the Abyss. Oh, see, there's the... And we have a Wick David here. A wild Wick David appeared. Hell. <laughs> He was putting more shit on me alone because, according to him, one of the side money flows failed on him, when really it was probably because he and his bitch of a wife had just gotten another muscle car. Oh damn. Aw. I'm sorry. You know, like, maybe... Too bad, like... I don't know. They should make every boss... Like when, you know, remember they had that show where bosses have to be the employee and see what it's like to be an employee for them? Every boss should have to do that. Was that actually Spike? Wick David, is that actually Spike? That's so freaking cute. Is that actually Spike? Undercover boss, yeah. Like, even, like, that should be a rule. Every boss should have to do that. And, and, cause I guarantee you all the bosses that I've had, if they had to do my job for a day, first off, they would have no fucking idea what they were doing, which you'd kind of think that a boss should actually at least know what your job is and what it entails. Um, the, the place would be in chaos cause they wouldn't know what they were doing. And maybe they would have more sympathy for what their employees do. It should be a legal fucking requirement that once a year, and you know, the other thing is, if the boss were to take a day and be an employee, could maybe see where there's problems and issues that their employees go through. Like, oh shit, I had no guy, no idea that you guys had to walk all the way across there to get coffee. 
And if I want to keep you guys in a totally hyper state to do more work, I should put the coffee machine closer to you rather than have you guys run out of coffee because lots of coffee in your system is good for productivity. See, things like that that bosses would need to figure out if they played an employee for a day. See, I have ideas. <laughs> Should totally be required by law. Once a year, the boss has to be an employee for an entire day. And Wick David says, yes, that actually is Spike. Throw Spike up there again. Let's let's all look at Wick David's beautiful dog Spike. It's so cute. <laughs> I should make an emote of the cat. Oh, <gasps> maybe I should. Hold on, let me write that down on my notes here. Because we do have a, an emote spot. We had two of the same. Ask John to make Thank you emote for your of support. cat. Aha. See, look at how cute he is. The puppies. Thank All you, Thanos. Prime sub guess I'll use it here. Oh, thank you, Thanos, for choosing to use your Prime sub with me. I know you can use your Prime sub wherever you want to, and I really do appreciate it that you used it on me. Thank you, thank you. Why is the font so blurry there? I don't know. It's a cute puppy. <laughs> I know it's not technically a puppy, but every dog is a puppy. Uh, Sloba says, thankfully my company, most of the big bosses above me work their way up the ladder so they have an understanding of what needs to be done and how it gets done. Yeah, but that's the problem is when you have enough time removed from that position, even if it's, that's why I said every year, even if it's just a year or two, like in one of my jobs, the technology had changed and the software had changed. So yeah, at one point, everyone above me had been in my position at one point, but it had been so many years that they had no idea how the new software worked, how the new technology worked, how to help people that came in with newer technology because they, they were higher up now. They were in the offices. They didn't have to help people. So that's why I say every year it should be mandatory. Oh, thank you, whoever started bingo. I was totally, I totally uh, blanked out on the bingo. Y'all mods have been spoiling me. This is, y'all have been spoiling me because now I'm just like, oh, look, bingo started, yay. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, Strikers, thank you for uh, treating Pando. I appreciate it. Um, not enough. Cloud Guard says not enough companies do that. They like to promote the incompetent people to the boss positions. Um, Lead Bullet Junkie says I worked for my dad for the last twelve years in construction. He has his asshole moments, but he's a great boss, and I enjoy. To work every day. Well, you have to, you know what? To be a boss, you have to have that little bit of asshole in I you. I recently am annoyed at YouTube for a somewhat similar thing to HST. I don't think the higher-ups use their mobile app because certain <laughs> features were removed, like being able to sort videos by age. That seems like basic shit you would need to do, is sort by how old the video is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Stryker says, you're welcome. I'll have to get more bits soon, so take my digits. Aw, thank you. Don't worry about it. Just, just, you, don't worry about having us, you know, to sub or give bits or this and that. Just, just y'all being here is keeping me company. It's payment enough. Like, I'm serious. Y'all think I'm joking, but that, that's, I mean, I'm serious. Um, everyone give Shadav hubs. Where's the Shadav? Uh, hold on. Uh, did, did Shadav say something that I missed? Um, at least one thing I can try to take off your plate. Oh, thank you, Shadav. Are you having a bad day? Is that why Shadav, does Shadav need the hugs? Or are you just hugging to say hi? Um, sometimes I find a new YouTube person I like and now it's hard to go back to their catalog to see how they started. Oh, yeah, that would seem to make sense to have to do that. Uh, it's gone from the web as well. That sucks. You would think we hug and show love for the mods. That makes sense. Okie dokie, yes. The good vibes for the mods for doing things. 
Um, what else was I gonna say? Uh, ba -ba oh, uh, very quickly, speaking of YouTube, one of my clips, like, made it to, like, 1,400 views. I was like, how the hell, the cow tipping one? Somehow, I don't know, um, made it to a lot of freaking views. And so YouTube sends me a message and is like, you know, monetize, blah, 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 blah. So I look and I need like 1400 subs. Like subs don't cost anything on YouTube. It's more like a, the equivalent of a follow. And I only have like 130 something. I said, I have that number on Twitch. I have that many followers on Twitch, but I don't have it on YouTube. And that's the only thing stopping me from making a little bit of money on YouTube. So I have to like try, somehow maybe convince John to ask everybody to follow me on YouTube. <laughs> so if you guys haven't already, do me a favor. Here's the socials. Um, give me a quick follow on YouTube because I need like a thousand more people. <laughs> Apparently. You don't want that headache, Dawn. You know what? I won't take it seriously though, but at least maybe I'll I'll make something from like my efforts of putting clips up. Don't tip a cow, you'll curdle your milk. Um <laughs> So yeah, I was like surprised and it was like the the silly cow one where I, I whack the cow with a spell. I'm like of all the clips I work so hard on it was the generic one of me just shooting a cow that gets like 1400 views. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> um, I bet you Southern YouTubers help boost that video. I did hashtag it cow tipping. So maybe I'm sure everyone else who put up clips of them doing that did not hashtag it cow tipping and just hashtagged Hogwarts or Hogwarts legacy. <laughs> um, oh, thank you Shada for pinning, pinning the, pinning the, the YouTube message. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate. Um, I almost got, I'm halfway to the amount of views that I need. You have to get so many views in 365 days, like 4,000 views. I got 2000 something. So I think I can make the views. I just don't have the people. And I'm like, I have like over a thousand people follow me on Twitter. I mean, on, not on, on Twitch. How come that number didn't translate over to YouTube? And then I was like, oh, I was like, when John asked people to follow me, I was like, I didn't have a YouTube then. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I have to hit him up for some help with that <laughs> but thank you Sora for 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 subscribing on the YouTubes like I said it don't it don't cost nothing just press a button then you can forget about me for the rest of time it, it, it's it, thank you <laughs> um cloud guard thank you for treating Pando I'm currently um hooked up here with this is my portable heat pad because uh I am in the lady way with the uh, moon flu going on. So I'm sitting here with a heat pad on and a body full of tongue and all um, to try and get through this stream. Thank you for your support. <laughs> What's that? The chat, let's welcome Nighthawk1272 to whatever this is. Hello, hi, welcome. Chat's a new person. Don't scare them away. They just got here. Be nice. <laughs> Act normal. Hello. Why is your eyeball dusty, chat? What the fuck happened here? It's proven that if you mention subscribing and liking videos, it increases likes and subscribes on YouTube. Oh, okay. What, what, what's the phrase? Um, like, watch, and subscribe. <laughs> I feel like such a whore when I do that, but it's okay. If I have to do it, I'll do it. 
What is it? What's what's the thing like? Subscribe. Ugh, it just gives me chills just saying it. Camera, we are down here. So yeah. So anyhow, we're putting we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put the camera to about here and attach it to the end of the table on my chest. So <laughs> under my chin. So we'll be about this distance. So here, Bobble. Bob and you guys will look this clear, but we'll look about this far away. But you'll be you'll be super clear because you'll be like a foot away. So that armature thing, hope, hopefully it'll work. Um, won't be here till like Thursday, so I might not have it everything all set up till like Saturday. Um, oh, we can call first time chat from viewer for bingo. Did we do that yet? Thank you for uh, saying something. Here we go. Um, thank you, Nighthawk, for helping people get bingo. And grab yourself a bingo card. It doesn't cost anything. Um, there's the information. I, I'm spamming my own chat about how to get a, a bingo card. Um, it's just like regular bingo, but instead of calling boring things like B12, instead we call um, the game glitched or um, we ate, I ate something, or, um, a bug flew at me. Like, any weird things that just might happen during stream. And the first person who gets stream bingo gets a spin on the wheel of non-prizes. That's right, you too can win absolutely nothing of value. Just for fun. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, let's see, um, let's see what today is. Cause I, I know like there's the Mardi Gras thing, a thing of who, 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 thing of who, um, the 21st, today's the 21st. What the hell is today? It's a card reading day. Well, that just means I'll have to give chat an affirmation card. Chat probably needs one anyhow. What's it? Icarus! <laughs> Icarus, thank you for asking to tell a joke. Which do you, which joke book do you want? Did you just do two of them? Did you do that by accident? Oh, mo or do you just really want chat to suffer? <laughs> the knock knock? Both knock knocks? <laughs> Let me do a card for you guys first, because it is card day. Here, wait, where's, hold on. Where the hell is my thing? Today, Today? I am focused. I am focused. That's, right, chat. Focus. That's right, chat, unlike focus, my camera. unlike my camera. Today, I will be productive and feel good about doing the hard work that I need to do. Focus chat. Focus chat. Or stay in focus chat. Um. <laughs> Icarus says yes, both knock knocks. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, the following knock-knock jokes provided by Icarus Mariner. Please direct all hatred toward them. In a fun way. Don't be mean about it. But it's their fault that you have to suffer through uh, things like this. Hold on. Who's there? Water. Water who? What are you going? What? what? What are you doing in the lake? Fuck you. Um. Who's there? Kayak. Kayak who? Quit your kayak and, and start paddling. Who's there? Howdy. Howdy who? Howdy spider get in my tent. 
Who's there, Leaf? Leaf who? Leave me alone, I'm trying to sleep. Who's there, Fire? Fire who? Fire you standing there, get an extinguisher. With Mardi Gras aka Fat Tuesday on the way and his clothes and so is, is the double filet of fish Oh, I guess d down there things are closed. Here we don't... We're in the north. We're like, Mardi Gras, that's the thing where girls show their tits and you throw beads at them, right? Yeah. Camera. Oh, I can't fix this camera issue fast enough. Who's there? RV. RV who? RV there yet? Get it? Huh? Huh? No? No one? Come on, that one wasn't bad. Shadow says, these are worse than normal. No, 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 these are, these are fine. Who's there? Summertime. Summertime who? Summertime I'll open up, but not right now. Who's there? Claws. Claws who? Claws the temp. Flap, it's raining. These are all camping things. Lol, and I love that extra F you at the first one as you slam the door in their face. <laughs> all right, we're almost done. We're almost done. This was four pages. Like I said, you know who to thank. Who's there? Alex. Alex who? Alex the counselor, if we can go swimming. Thank you, Spider, for the cackle. Who's there? Dawn! Dawn who? Dawn wake me up so early. <laughs> He's funny. No, it's not. It's not. And the last one. Who's there? Not. Not who? Not another knock-knock joke, please. <laughs> and that was knock knock jokes. <laughs> Sponsored by Icarus Marin. <laughs> Audio hurts, chat. What what hurt? The jokes? Uh, you can't count the jokes as as audio hurting. That's 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 a stretch. <laughs> All right, let's see what else it is. So it's Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday. Yeah, I feel I feel I feel this right here. That bloating will get you. Um, the twenty first. You can tell I didn't set these up ahead of time. Bad streamer, bad streamer. Uh, International Mother Language Day. Father Linny Day in Vanuatu. Language Martyrs Day in Bangladesh. King Harold V's Day in Norway. National Sticky Bun Day. Oh! Carnival Shrove Tuesday. Carnival, Carnival Shrove, Carnival. Uh, oh, I'm gonna fuck this one up. Zhongye Festival in China. Earth's Earth God's birthday. Earth God's birthday. That sounds fun. In Taiwan. Um, Robert Gabriel Mugabe National Youth Day in Zimbabwe. So those are your days. Find one and give yourself a reason to celebrate. Have a piece of cake. Or buy yourself something nice. Did I get did I get anything for bingo? Oh, I have like the worst bingo card ever. And no one has won yet. Mmm. Mmm. Sticky, but I know. Right, Wick? Doesn't like a bunch of oh, I can't remember the last time. 
like, like, what do they all like, they call them? Bear claws. I know what you're thinking, but no, I'm talking about the food. The bear claws with the stickiness and the honey buns. Oh, the cheap ass fucking honey buns. I used to buy those after school a lot. That was, that was good. A piece of cake for Sticky Bun Day sounds redundant, but I'm down, says Jeff Bader Overlord. Hello, hi, how are you? Um, my local government has done something good for once. It's cracking down on catalytic converter theft, which has been rampant here. Yeah, that's been going on uh, a lot up here in, 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 in the Northeast, too. And, and people stealing um, cars with USB drives. Crazy, crazy things. <laughs> Um, stuff is weird. So we'll just stay here in our little world and not pay attention to anything happening in the outside world. This is our safe place of video game and hanging out and we'll forget about everything else. Catalytic converter theft seems to be happening all over the place. Wow. Is it, is it because, like, are suddenly... Okay, car people. Car, car guys. Or gals, you know. Um, um, are, are catalytic converters... Are they... Are, is it because they're... I don't know shit about cars, okay? Is it because they're hard to find? Or is it because that suddenly something within the device of the catalytic converter is rare? Um... Wick Davis says catalytic converters are worth lots of money, but why? Or did the manufacturing of them during the pandemic go down, or is a part rare? My or? car has its own anti-theft, crap factory CD player. No, the metal in the converters are worth a lot of money. Oh, there, there's a, is there like a rare earth well metal done. in there? Chat and low on cash. I have 24 till. I get paid so the open bingos wins are up for anybody can win. Oh, <laughs> spider, don't, don't even, it's, don't worry about giving bits and doing bits and stuff and things. It's fine. Um, the metal in the converters, is it rare earth metal? It, oh, okay. It is filled with rare metals. I'm, now I'm interested, like. Uh, they contain platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Oh, okay. So it is... So they aren't even... Are, are they stealing them because they're worth lots of money to put them in cars again? Or are they, like, busting open these converters and going, Oh, look! The little piece of platinum and the little piece, piece of palladium. And the, or are they is it just the... They're keeping the converters themselves and putting them in other cars? Don't worry, Dawn. You're still getting your treats, and if anyone's interested in commissioning me, I'm open for work. Um, they're doing it to get at the rare earth metals inside. So it's not like they're even wanting to resell the converters themselves as converters. They're, they're, they're chop shopping the converters? It's like when they have steel <laughs> copper. Oh, yeah, that, I remember when that, that was a big thing. Um, they used to have to post police officers when they were putting new housing and building up um, because they couldn't, you know, there's hardly walls, but all the copper piping would and copper things, I guess, would be inside um, when they'd be doing work and, and people would go in and just steal it. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, there's a market for the converters, too. The converters can also be used to make drugs. What? What the hell is... Okay. What actually... All right, chat, you got to teach me. What, what, what actually is a catalytic converter? What is its purpose? What does that part do in the car that it can be used to make drugs? Now, now I need to know. <laughs> does the, what does the converter convert? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know shit about cars. 
It's not uncommon for people to put cages around AC units where I live. Yeah, I knew someone that had like a ton of old air conditioning units on their lawn because they were going to rip them apart to get stuff it's out of it. It's automotive alchemy. It's automotive alchemy. Does it like convert something with the gasoline and combustions and stuff and, and that part? Oh, okay. It converts the smog that comes out of the engine into less destructive gases. Oh, so it would just have like filters in there or some shit? So why would it need the rare earth metals? I'm gonna have to like look at the... Now my, my nerdy part of my brain is really wondering how this... What this thing does. It converts unburned hydrocarbons. Ah. It's a second air filter of sorts. Okay. The metals are filters, really? Like I know like charcoal and stuff can be filters, like charcoal filters and stuff like that. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to like geek out on this and probably look it up later. Interesting. Striker put a put a link in Discord. Cool, that makes my life easy. Thank you. Hello, Whiskey Gamer. <laughs> Hello, Duck Dog. I saw you guys sneaking in there. Thank you for hanging out and talking and stuff. It has been a long time, Whiskey Gamer. How are you doing? Um, the hot rare earth metals are a catalyst to strip atoms. Oh really? So there is fucking alchemy going on in there. Interesting, interesting. Basically, when the chemicals and the smog come in contact with the metals, it takes away certain elements that would be bad for the air. Cool, oh, okay, okay. The drug is called Bombe. I just Googled it. Bombe. Wow, interesting. See, chat, you come, you hang out, and you learn shit. There you go. Flawless victory. Camera, we're down here. We're, we're, we're gonna get this camera thing fixed. You trust me, Chet. We will be... When is, when is our anniversary? March something? I'm gonna try and be 1080p with the camera closer about here. Um before our anniversary yes sorry <laughs> um i think you need a license to turn in converters here because of the thefts that's crazy i had no idea dawn's beating our head on the table no no it's okay chat it's fine you're okay I'm petting you. I'm petting you. All right. Um, here, let's do a... What do you mean? The converts to quiet the engine exhaust so when you drive and heat up and cools, you hear nothing. Oh, it also quiets the engine. Camera. Thank you, down here. Aww, we got a sad one. Aww, we got sad chihuahua. <laughs> See, I don't know what we're gonna pull. All the cards, all the cards are here upside down. So I never know what we're gonna pull. You are so mean to chat. No, I'm not. I love you, chat. I'm so good to you guys. I get, look. Look, look at all this clothing. Oh, we get your clothes and shark outfits and little pants and 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 and, and hats. We're we're good to you. When you lose your job at Taco Sneakers. Bell due to snowflakes. It's like the 90 Tokus come cereal. Um, Whiskey Gamer says, I've been busy working on getting the office put together. 
at home and getting ready to move away from the security business world. Cool, new things, changes. I wish you the best of luck. Sometimes you just got, you gotta embark on new things. Yeah, the 90s Yo Quiero Taco Bell commercials. You remember those? All right, let's do three. Chat, you try and come up with a better meme than the random cards. Tomo says, when you realize there's nothing in the fridge because you're too lazy to go shopping. The 90 commercial. Yeah, I, remember, I have, I well, I had the little, the little, uh, a Christmas ornament for the Taco Bell dog. When people tell you to be an adult and not eat all the cookie dough before they become cookies. <laughs> I'm I, I'm so meme to chat. I see what you did there. Um. <laughs> Flutterdash, hello, hi, says I'm starting a new job soon. I'm gonna be a server at a dishwasher at a retirement home. When you nice. tell your mom the joke and it turns into a lecture. Remember, people at the retirement home, show show them show them um um happiness and joy when and your affection. Mama has steak and you have kibble. There you go. When you notice you're out of bacon and broke at the same time, says Wick. Well, see, Striker, Striker says I would get depressed working at one of those. See, that's why you gotta flip it around. A lot of the people there, camera, please focus down here. A lot of the people there, yeah, maybe, you know, like, uh, it's not the happiest place in the world, but you try and turn things around, show them a little attention, tell them jokes. Uh, compliment them on what they're wearing, their hair, do stuff to make them feel good. And then when you see them smile back at you, it won't be such a depressing place to work anymore. And you're making the place a happier place for them and in turn, a happier place for you. So see, there you go. You can even make some place that's depressing, make it a happy place. Change that shit around. <laughs> um, Let's see what the cards say. Shadav says, I loved working at a retirement home. I miss having my morning coffee with the residents when I was able to sit down for a moment before breakfast started. Older people have some of the most amazing freaking stories. Holy cow. It's like, okay, you can talk to someone your age and ask them what was the toughest point in their life and they might tell you something, but you ask an older person who's lived 80 years, they're gonna have some fucked up stories for you. <laughs> what about when they Amazing. say F you every 10 minutes? <laughs> um, you know, they had amazing lives that they've lived. The face you make when folks keep using your likes and your agent is still getting 20%. All right. Let's see. When you find out your fly has been unzipped for the past two hours. When you find out that you have a substitute teacher for the rest of the week. Oh, you wouldn't be crying. This is, no, that's a loser. That's a loser. <laughs> when you get caught picking your nose. Ah, uh, I think I like this. When you find out your fly has been unzipped. <laughs> Well, if you get caught picking your nose, like, and it shows up on social media, then, then that would be... So, yeah. <laughs> I think, I, th I think I like those two. So that was your 
What do you mean? Thank you for playing along. Oh gosh, we got six minutes till till Cliff is gonna get us I have found that old people's story often start out. I should be dead by now with the shit I've been through. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hydro oil. Okay. Um, all right. Now I need number, foreign word, and a bunch of nouns. Uh, 20, 2112. Uh, oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Um, bunch of nouns. Where was the number? Oh, there it is. 2112. Foreign word, Flammenwerfer. What is that? I know it's German. Flammen, flame, flame flyer, Flammenwerfer, flame, flame. What is Flammenwerfer? Okay, poker chips, poker chips. Um, matchstick. Um, grenade. More nouns, curry. Um, napalm. Wow, chat. Y'all are, I see where it, y'all are feeling very destructive <laughs> this evening. <laughs> Sewing machine. There we go. There's something that's not war-related sewing machine. <laughs> um, panzers. Um, medic. All right, now I need adjectives. Give me adjectives. Um, blended. I'll change it to adjective. Blended. Um, high... Moist, uh, steaming. Um, okay, verbs, action words. I need three verbs. Um, destroying, destroy. Um, dipped. And flopping. Okay. We will read this as soon as we return, but Twitch is going to make us do a commercial. We'll be right back.
right, we're back. Hello, hi. We're here. Um, and let's see what the weather's like in your neck of the woods. <laughs> Icarus got stream bingo. <gasps> Congrats. You've earned a spin on the wheel of non prizes. This is what I'm sniffing right now is sandalwood. San sandalo. It smells so good. All right. Um, let me turn down the heat on my belly here. Oh my gosh, I'm like roasting over here like I'm gonna be cooked. Um, where's... All right, where's... All right, let me move this out the way. Let's do Icarus a spin because maybe they'll win uh, camera. Hi, down here, thank you. <laughs> maybe they'll win uh, DJ. And this spin. I have to just keep my hand here, it won't focus. <gasps> Mad Libs choice. I guess we're doing another Mad Libs after this one. Um, let me know, camera, do, do the thing. Um, let me know, uh, here, take a look at the Mad Libs. Um, and let me know which one you wanna do right after we read this one we have canoeing let me uh oh shit did i have that on pause the whole time okay i paused it now canoeing Canoe comes from the Spanish word flamenwoofer. This type of vessel was first described by Columbus in the year 2112. It is a blended boat with its sides meeting in a high edge at each sewing machine. A canoe is moved by one or more panzers. It is important for you to learn the moist way to paddle your matchstick before putting it in the hydro oil. Should your canoe overturn and you do not know how to destroy, hang on to the side of the curry, kick your poker chips, and head for the safety of the grenade. <laughs> if you surface under the canoe, locate the air napalm which will allow you to breathe until you are dipped. Once you have mastered the art of flopping, you can enjoy an overnight steaming trip, which often is the highlight of the camping medic. <laughs> we had a bot. I see you, bot. Let me go and take care of that bot. Hold on. Let me take care of that bot. Oh. Okay, I guess someone just, just did it before I even got a chance. Um. Uh. No, not timeout. Oh, okay. There, someone did it for me. There you go. Um, did we call? We got a call. I got a call bot. It's a bot! Here we go. Um, thank you to whoever, oh, John did it. Thank you, John. You're the grooviest. Um, <laughs> Icarus wants Night of the Living Mad Libs. Night. Night of the Living Mad Libs. Let's do two of these. It is now time for the best of Mad Libs. A retrospective of the past year in Mad Libs. This portion of our stream is sponsored by Nautical Razor, the maker of the best of Mad Libs. 
Oh, let me call. Uh, I need to call guest appearance. Wait. Uh, G T T. There you go. Oh, I should have called that for Wick David being here too. And for Slopez being here, because it's like they're never here. And whiskey. <laughs> All right. This is from The Code of the Samurai. The best line was, used underwears were not an option for the samurai. Sorry, I paused the thing while I was reading the... Night of the Living Mad Libs. I paused it while I was reading the Mad Lib. And this one's from God Save the Queen. The best line was... Seth Maxwell Shakespeare wrote many moist plays. <laughs> and that was the best of Mad Libs. Oh, we got a, we got 45 people in here. Did we call uh, the uh, over 40 people? 40. Here we go, let's call that. Do I have bingo yet? Hello, what up everybody? Hello, Curved Planet, what up? How are you doing? We're uh, we're gonna do this Mad Libs right here. And uh, then we're gonna check out uh, Thank you for your Atomic support. Heart, it's in Game Pass. What's that? Small Town Rider, thank you for resubbing three months. Fuck. Yay, three months. Here's to three more in the best cookie community XD. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. And remember, yeah, if you got if you got Amazon Prime, you can use that Prime sub that you that Amazon gives you for free. They give you a a, a, a Twitch sub for free. Don't ask me how you do it. I have the foggiest idea. But even if you don't use it on me, use it on someone. Don't let that go to waste. That's like free money for somebody. Um, all right. Are you ready, chat, to give me words? John, you playing? John, you gonna give me words? Somebody won big ghost spiders asking they took a shower. Yes! <laughs> Yes, somebody won a bingo. It happened naturally, well, almost naturally. Icarus, and Icarus got a, asked for a Night of the Living Mad Libs. Viking Chokeberry. Is that a noun? <laughs> Sneaker Polis. Oh my gosh, okay. Viking Chokeberry, that's a kind of plant, right? Viking Choke. Berry and sneaker polis. Sneaker polis. I need an animal chat and a type of liquid. And then a bunch of nouns. An animal, a type of liquid, uh runway, uh vodka. Oh, we'll use that for the liquid. Vodka. Um Cockatiel. Cockatiel. Um, a lion. Um, a rooster. Okay. Um, blood and pickled eggs. Viagra pill bottle. Viagra pill bottles. Uh, Pickled egg, pickled egg, um, blood. I need a number, um, uh, and more nouns. Uh, Arabica coffee, Arabica coffee. Um, oh, some adjectives. Uh, we'll go with thirteen, and I need some adjectives. Uh, a thruster. Thruster. I'm putting that as a noun. Adjectives. Delightful! That's a good adjective. 
I don't think we've ever used that one before. Delightful. Stupid. I can tell the mood of chat just by the words y'all pick. <laughs> sweltering. See? Jeff Vader Overlord Hello is sweltering. Is it hot there? Alright. Um Alright, I need a verb. Give me a verb. Uh here's comfy and a verb. Um Give me a good verb. Make it an awesome verb. The verb of all verbs. Yell. Okay. Yell. All right. We're done. Pants your pencils down. Put your pencils down. Here we go. This is who's there. One night, I was sitting alone in my delightful house, sipping a cup of vodka as I read from an old Arabica coffee. Suddenly, there was a stupid noise coming from the v Viking chokeberry. <laughs> the hair on the back of my thruster stood straight up. <laughs> And I got rooster <laughs> bumps all over my body. <laughs> um, okay. The hair on the back of my thruster stood straight up and I got rooster bumps all over my body. Then I remembered this sneaker polis was supposed to be haunted. <gasps> Someone or something was down in the cockatiel. I heard clanking Viagra bottles. <laughs> As if it was a lion were being dragged across the floor of the pickled egg. The room suddenly became... The room suddenly became sweltering and cold. <laughs> sweltering and cold. Um, a big white runway floated right through the door. <laughs> I nearly yelled in my pants. <laughs> Speaking in a comfy voice, the ghost said something I'll never forget if I live to be 13. What did the ghost say? I've just come from the bathroom and you're out of blood paper. <laughs> That was your Night of the Living Mad Lib. Zombie Black Rose got three and bingo. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's, I think it's time. Oh, I got things I have to pay attention to over here. Thank you, Annoying Feather, for hydrating Panda and treating Panda. And thank you, Melfina, for the hydrate. I'll do that now with some coffee. Well, what's happening here? There's, there's a little guy hiding behind my little guy. It's a scaredy guy. Wick David's scaredy guy is hiding behind my scaredy guy. Zor got stream bingo. Oh. Hello, hi, and welcome, and hi, and, and bingoing and stuff. Uh, do I have bingo yet? You know, I could fix it so I always get it, but no. I don't cheat like that. <laughs> Jeff Fader Overlord says, clanking Viagra bottles. Well, that explains the hairs on the thruster. <laughs> 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 camera my my camera is haunted too all right let me change the title here and let's see what the hell this game is let's see what this is okay this is a blind 
play. I have no idea what this game is. Um, I saw it announced at E3 forever ago and uh, put it on my radar and said, okay, when it comes to Game Pass, I want to try it. So I don't know anything about this game. So we'll see um, what happens. Hopefully it will... I'm sure it let me use a controller. Um, let me open up... Let me do this because sometimes when I hit play on a thing, it decides to ask for my credentials or show my credentials. Sometimes, not all the time. Let me see if it does it. Okay, I think, I think it's gonna pop, I see some legal disclaimers and some things. Can we, does it have to be in every language known to mankind? Can, can we press to start? Okay, I think we're good. All right. Hey, it's a game. Um, let's see if we can wake up Bob. Bob. Oh, there. Bob can do. Um, all right. Um, check the setting for stream options. Um, well, that's the thing is I had heard that with this game, even when you put on the streamer safe, People were still getting muted and um, getting their things taken off of YouTube. So I don't think it matters. I'm just, I'm not even going to turn on the stream safe mode, I don't think. Because they're going to mute it anyway. So it, it, it doesn't matter. No, Melfina, what I'm saying is it does have a streamer mode, but it's not working because they didn't take out the unsafe songs. So it does have a streamer mode. It's just that they fucked up and still put in stuff that was not safe. Cause like all of these, like, I guess big streamers like Co Carnage and stuff were tweeting about it. And I was trying to avoid anything about the game, but they were tweeting about it yesterday. Like, well, my whole VOD got muted and got taken down on YouTube and demonetized. So it's a whole big fiasco. So I'm like, fuck it. It, I, it doesn't matter anymore at this point. And yes, Wick David, my controller has a first name. It's B O B B. Why does my controller look so, that's the one thing about having a good camera. My everything looks really dirty now. Like you can see the, um, you know what that probably is in there. That's probably, um, it's probably um, nuts, because I eat nuts. Um, new camera works good? No. <laughs> I have to still make adjustments to it. It's better than the last camera, but it, it has problems focusing. It's not Cheeto dust, no. <laughs> All right, let's see what the options. Um, window full screen, I guess. Um, I guess I'll just leave everything on, uh, whatever the default is that it put it at. Subtitles on, uh, auto aim, aim assist active. Yes, please make that active. Auto aim. We'll see if my hand needs it, but I don't think I need it. Um, use PlayStation icons. Ew. No. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I don't know if I should even try ultra. Let's just stay with high. Um, 
I'll just make sure everything is default. Um, I do want windowed full screen. Okay, I think we're good. I think that'll work. No, no, go back. Here we go. Um, apply these settings? Yes. Hey, I'm glad they give you the option. Most games default Xbox controller still. Really? So even, I thought that games would be smart enough now to know which, like, you know, it knows if you have a, a keyboard or a controller. Like, I just thought it would have been smart enough to know that you have a PlayStation controller and would change the icons accordingly. I had no idea. I don't know because I never use a PlayStation controller. Um for PC and actually when I used to play when I no when I when when before the 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 other PlayStation the PlayStation before I actually used to use a Xbox setup for the PlayStation cuz I couldn't stand the PlayStation controller. I didn't like the trigger buttons and and I didn't like the two things here. It really didn't wasn't working for me. So I actually bought a PlayStation controller that looked like an Xbox controller. <laughs> Um, crazy. All right, so let's go. I guess new game. We'll see what happens. All right. Oh, we have choices. Peaceful Adam. Uh, she she looks peaceful, not him. Um, we are pleased to welcome you. Oh, and let me just say, let me just put this up real real quick about the rules here. Um, no spoilers. Even if you think it's not a spoiler. It's probably a spoiler because I know nothing about the game. Um, don't spoil anything or talk about it or guess about things or talk about stuff because, like I said, I haven't even seen trailers for this. Um, and don't help unless you see the help please hand show up because sometimes I'll, I'll even talk to myself and be like, where the hell is this thing or what the hell am I supposed to do here? And it's I can't help it. I talk to myself. So, so only assist if you see the help please thingy pop up. So thank you in advance. Um, all right, so let's see what our choices are. Peaceful Adam, we are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of facility 3826, comrade. Spectacular and dynamic battles with robots won't take too much effort or distract you from the narrative. Of course, you'll sit, you'll still have to fight, but only the plot will keep you on your toes. Local malfunction. Do you like to overcome difficulties? That's admirable, but we'll leave you to it. This is no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult and objectives will require know-how, but you can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority after completing each stage. Just try to stay more alive than dead. Armageddon. <laughs> do you have a vivid imagination and dark thoughts? What can you do? That's just how it is. Buckle up. A real nightmare is in store where you'll need experience, reaction, speed, and the skills to properly manage your resources. Oh, resource management. That'll give me the shivers. Save your bullets and always keep one in reserve for yourself. Okay, definitely not Armageddon. I'd like to start on normal. As long as I can switch to peaceful Adam. <laughs> um... In the in the middle let me does anyone know if um let me see let me check uh uh atomic heart can i switch difficulties in the middle like on the fly can you change uh mid game atomic heart can you change the difficulty mid game atomic so i like when games let you do this i really hate it um when I play a game, I'm on normal, then my hands are hurting because I've been playing longer than I was supposed to. And then I get to a fight I can't get through because my hands hurt. I like when I can just flip back and forth. So thank you, games that let you flip back and forth, depending on how much your hands are in pain that day. <laughs> Tell my card is a gorgeous take on bubble. Okay, okay, fine. I why I don't need a whole article. Just say yes or no. And why is this so um, big. Uh, changing the difficulty mid-game. 
Oh my gosh, why is this a whole article? Just say yes or no. Um, like most open world games, you're allowed to change your difficulty level at any point. Wonderful. Okay, yes. So let's just start on normal. <laughs> Toma says, I don't know, actually. I just went with easy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'll probably end up here for sure. But I like to have the ability to start normal and then say, oh, fuck this shit. After I lose a fight trying it two or three times, I'm like, oh, fuck you. And then I just go here. And then sometimes things seem a little too easy and then I can go back there. So I like being able to change on the fly. Freaking Skyrim, Skyrim spoiled me with things like that. Oh, did I change the thing to say that um, I'm playing Atomic Heart? Yes, I did. I don't even remember. Um, Goth Reaper says, hi, Dawn. I'm glad you like my art in my gallery. Yeah. Um, th thanks for sharing it with me. Um, uh, like the old games where you're screwed for picking wrong. You better start a new one. Yeah, that's what was happening was uh, in a lot of in games after I got the carpal tunnel and the tennis elbow and the golfer's elbow. Every game I played, I, I, I that didn't let you change on the fly. I had to start. I had to play it on easy, which took not only like made me kind of angry because I was like, well, wait, I don't want to. Um, I, I, I don't want it to be too easy, you know, um, but I had to because if I started it on normal, if I got into a fight that I just couldn't physically do, um, that was it. The game was over for me. So, poopy. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to start up the uh, thingy again. I'm, I apologize. Bob and Gertrude? Yeah, Gertrude is uh, no longer. Gertrude has been, has been given to John and has lost Gertrude's stickers. I'm surprised you didn't develop Hockey Elbow. Hockey Elbow. <laughs> um, okay, so there we go. Let's start this, this, this normal. Warning, I may have gone a little crazy with your packages box. May God have mercy on its soul. Uh-oh. All right, let's see. What, what is this now? Loading, loading, continue. No, I really love this place. Good vibes. Good vibes! The complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> um. This is cool. Icarus. brilliant and dedicated mind to work here whoa would you care for some more soda comrade yeah um give, give the soda um sure, sure thanks, thanks. This is Looks nice. Like bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. This is cool. It's box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? 
They've been like that all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Is that a big pig on a leash? Thanks, Mom. Uh, the code's 0451. Remember that, just in case, chat. Okay, 0451. Then. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. Whoa. It's a big pig. You did it. Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. What the? Amazon delivery? Oh, and remember, if you clip something, you can win a spin on the Good Wheel morning, of Non prizes. Boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Hey, this doesn't look so bad. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. We haven't made it's better cars. Any questions? For once. You dickhead. Oh, shh. The bad word. He said a bad word. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. No rest for the wicked. Reach the park. Oh, I guess down there. Hello, sir. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechinov, is about to begin. Gather in the town. Um, ow, my friggin' ears. Is it too loud? Is there something wrong? An awesome day. What could go wrong? It's Russia. They're still making that car. It, it um, DJ animation chat is something too loud. Let me know if it's too loud. Cause I look, all I see is ow, my friggin' ears. <laughs> um, no, it was a Simpson reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember I'm paranoid. I'm a paranoid person. Hmm. Sorry, just getting a sip. Okay, so the, the the game sounds okay. It's not too loud. It's not too low. See? This is what we need. Okay, is there a way to... I don't need all the <laughs> subtitles. Um, difficulty local malfunction? Armageddon? Oh, okay. That's where the difficulty is. Camera shake, subtitles on art subtitles. Off? Um... Or is that just for maybe when I was looking at the thing? No, no, not quit. Here we go. See, this is what I need in my life. Someone, someone to sweep. Um. What happens when I hit right bumper? Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Hello? Like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? 
I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. <laughs> it, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Um. Uh, thanks, I'm good. Thanks, I'm good. Ah, well, that's a shame. You should try it. You won't regret it. But... Have a great day. There hey was a you experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. Oh, but it's you the to refer to me as Charles, a chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. Oh, that's the glove talking to me. Sounds like a drug dealer. The first hit is free. Yeah, he's trying to get us addicted. Um, did you see that, though? I had, like, a, a certain amount of time that I had to uh, answer that in. I wonder what would have happened if I said, sure. All right. I'm getting distracted by looking at all the sights. Whoa! What the... F Frick. Uh, Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Uh, so what's going on in biology right now? What's new in robotics? What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking as a professional. Or I won't take up any more of your time. Um, uh, what, what's going on? What? I told you Slopez would have words. She looks like a SX doll. <laughs> so, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn. Damn, Are... that's a lot of time to kill. <laughs> Is that quality time or everything hurts, I'm in pain, kill me now time? It, there's a difference. <laughs> Wick Davis says, guns! <laughs> Small town writer says a very ugly one. Yeah, she is. Do you know what's wrong with her? No eyebrows. No eyebrows. When you remove eyebrows off a human being, they immediately look bizarre. Um. The Wick David says, I don't want to be around that long. <laughs> One hundred to one hundred fifty years of life, mind you. When you're in, you may encounter an unfortunate accident. What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. Oh, that's scary. I'd be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. Yes, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, what can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, 
I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. All right. Um. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. Bye -bye. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, our newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Use your glove's built-in menu. Okay. Okay, that's duck. Um, that's run, I guess. Hello, hi. Oh. They still can't do hair right. That's... What? Ugh! Teeth! Lots and lots of perfectly square teeth. You have to make them irregular a little bit, game. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. The looks right, but there's no movement to it. Yeah, they would probably. I feel really great, and I've already started studying physics and chemistry. That's amazing. I'm getting polymerized today. The rest of the country has to wait until Monday. But here in Chalamet, the future is now. If anyone has earned this privilege, it's us. Polymerized. I guess we'll find out what that is. I oh, that looks deadly. What the fuck? Why do you have a giant needle? On the end of you. We're so lucky to live in this beautiful city. I hope every Soviet citizen will live somewhere just as nice today. soon. Get connected straight away. Step right up. You can become part of collective. Ooh, music. Oh, yeah. You in my way? I'll, I'll, I'll go around you then. I can't reach the keyboard. Ah! <laughs> Let me see. Here we go. want to go down there. What, where's your ear? Oh, you're a robot. Are you? You're a robot? You have to be a robot. You're not real. Oh, people, you're in my way. Yeah, definitely a robot. Alright, we're supposed to... I'm just... Messing around, looking around. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. But this time, make sure the atom's in the picture. Well, let's just take the picture the way we are. Say cheese! Photobomb! Get ready for your group photo, comrades! Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's room. Uh, can we get the atom in the picture, and too? And the statue, as well. Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're my soldiers. Man. Yeah, like this. 
Say cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. You and Anatoly stand like the worker and the <laughs> All right. All right, stop messing around, Dawn. Keep going. Where are we going? All right. Oh, hey now. You have the same face of the three other women I've seen. There's a lot of inbreeding, I guess, happening in this world. about the history of facility 3826 hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war okay everyone here seems so happy and content just like in china you've been to china comrade major i've been everywhere i mean i've been everywhere, everywhere china, man I guess. facility 3826 isn't all that far from our chinese allies i like their spirit and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Slow down, son. Slow down. I, I'm trying desperately to get on the flames, but it won't let me. I guess this is a memorial. It's very sad. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. My friends. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. I it's like there's something the stuck in my head, but I... But not the fascist I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. And you thought I'd forget? I never forget. Glory. Too many people? <laughs> Wick Davis says there's too many people. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out Comrades, and touch the them we will the the most all distant stars. to the solar system and right now, we are taking our right up, comrades, on this this is 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 I've got a question. Yes, comrade, how may I help? Um, oh gosh, we have options. Well, what can you tell me about space? So what do you think? Is mankind ready to live, to leave its home? So do you believe in aliens? That's a funny way to use a belly ash. What? Well, what can you tell me about space? <laughs> That's quite a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. One thing is certain though. The question, how should we live here on Earth? Can only be answered out there. Okay. So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? Hello, Wolf Canis. A philosophical question. But if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. Hmm. So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. That's a funny way to use a belly Yeah, I was surprised too. 
Apparently, the MA-9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. Can I get one for my living room? No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for 10 minutes and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. Where am I going? Am I going in here? Major Nachai reporting for duty. On Does it come with an espresso machine? <laughs> Oop, no, I meant to. <laughs> Not wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase. Where'd you have got places to be? Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano. Watch your With waving horns. 2.0, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me. Of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Why? Why are our hands so fucked up? I think these bots were educated using the movie Food Fight, considering their constant arm spasm I mean, movements. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove They told are now us we will grow up and people will offer us drugs. System, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Tap the right button. Hold right button again to activate scanner. Tap and then hold it again. Tap. And hold, tap and hold, tap and Even hold. That is not easy to do. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Who thought... Oh gosh, you got a double tap. That is...
is not an easy thing to use. Holy cow. Oh, crap. Twitch wants a commercial. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Oh, tap, tap. Oh my gosh. Tap. Tap. Tap, tap. Oh, dude. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Who the fuck made made it? Tap, tap, tap. That is not a good mechanic, especially for my hand. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, program. I know I can make like left bumper be back here, but I don't know if I can make tap, hold left bumper. <laughs> That's like a lot of button presses. I don't know if I can get the controller to do that. That's crazy. All right, well. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. <laughs> so it's it's a double tap hold thing. That's... Uh, now I can't get through there. That's not the most intuitive thing to do, but okay. I guess there's a reason. Left, uh, right bumper itself must be something that it requ you know, just opening doors. Addressed by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Damn. They really like their statues. this guy. Let's see if I can get a picture. Oh, camera. Oh, camera. Focusing on chat. Focus. 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 Ah, uh, it lost it. Hmm. I want, I want you guys to have a new friend. Once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. 
All communication between your brain and your Report personal to the lobby of that high rise Possible comprehension. Possible a tiny injection in for neuro Ooh, look at these cars, though. Oh, hell yeah. Can I get me one of these? In just five minutes, you'll become the future. I want this. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Get your thought device today and become Homo Futura among the first. So glad to see you're the taking it easy, Comrade is Major. Yours. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, natürlich. Oh. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I'm just gonna say the reflections in the floor is really nice. <laughs> okay, elevator. Getting distracted. Oh, there's seats in the elevator. Fancy! An elevator with seating. I would like to play this game, but I have a graphics card equal to a GTX 1070, which may have to play on low settings. Thank you for riding elevator. You'll be at your destination momentarily. In other words, the game is probably loading. Thank you for riding with elevator. We're here. Anybody home? Hello? Plant? It's a healthy plant. Okay. Talk oh, it's right. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Tomo says, I hear Slopez making comments. Well, why are they dirty? Like, look, and she has the same dirt mark on her hip, too. There, there's, you see that, right? There's like dirt there. But they both have that dirt. You see? Right right there. And that one has dirt right there too. What's wrong with your foot? Oh, you're like ballerinas. You're doing like ballerina stance things. What, what's that guy doing? He's just walking back and forth. Hi. They could have at least given them eyes. 
You're thinking too much into that. Where am I going now? Get in the turbine. Um, they're, they're not letting me get past them. Oh, over here. Okay. Back in the elevator? Okay. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own <coughs> greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Sorry, I'm trying to get... Up. Readjust my chair here. Hold on just a second. There we go. Okay. Get in the turbine. We're in the turbine. I guess that's the elevator. Okay. Oh, no, it's not the elevator. I guess we're going this way. That's duck. Does that run? I don't have... I guess I don't have a run. Duck. Run. Run. Hello, sweeper dude. Grumpy Bun says they made a vegan pumpkin pie. Ooh. That sounds young. Any any kind of pumpkin pie. <gasps> yes, we get a car chat. Oh, fuck yeah. Achievement! 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 Happy polymerization, polymerization day days. <gasps> we got an awesome car. Oh, oh, it's convertible! Yeah! Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. I thought it was gonna pee on me or something. Oh, no. Oh. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? Uh-oh. The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in one every get city. It. The American oh. government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozios. How about some music? That's more like it. Yeah, it's not baby. It's close enough, though. Is a claw, is a claw, is a claw. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Oh, wow, that whole thing was up Don't in the sky. A bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? No. Nope. Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. 
Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction, straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Uh oh. Something bad happening? Um, I hope this is just weather. Silent Hill. This is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11:47 a.m. Outside temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. They really love their Directly statues. Below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. 
We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The trope is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Whoa! Shit! What the fuck? You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory What the fuck? Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator. <laughs> Another happy landing. Whoa! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the Aww. shit? So are we! Atomic Heart Attention, this is an emergency communication Um, let me see what's happening in chat here um, nobody puts baby in the air. Yeah, I wasn't expecting them to lift the car up in the air. That was kind of cool. Um, I hope that they don't DMCA the stream now. Um, they, all they're going to do is mute it. I'm going to take the VOD off. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I don't want, I don't want to get into discussion about it. Um, we're in Silent Hill. It's a cool game. I take it, I guess, so far. Um, I'm not going to put it anywhere that, that it's going to get in trouble for DMCA, so don't worry. Um, whoa, 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 the history buff in me is twitching. Uh, Wolf kind of says, the in-game dialogue can interrupt itself and be interrupted by the player. So if you're here for story, be careful. That's all I'll say. The in-game dialogue can interrupt itself and be interrupted by the player? I I don't understand, but don't worry about it. Don't spoil anything, just in case. Um, sounds very dystopian, I'd say. <laughs> um, yeah, there was people getting um, DMCA'd and muted and stuff either way because they didn't do... Um, the streamer mode correctly so since i gotta explain this again then okay i'm not in streamer mode because streamer mode doesn't work anyhow people were still getting muted and everything so i'm not going to put this up on youtube and i'm probably going to take the vod down or it's going to get muted regardless so i'm not really worried about dmca because it's it's happening anyhow to people because the game makers messed up and put songs in the streamer friendly thing anyhow. So there you go. All right, back to game. Is that us? I guess that's us. That must be us. We take very good care of our beard, apparently. Oh, no need to be sorry. No, I just, I, I guess you, uh, you didn't hear what I said earlier about the mean why I'm not using streamer mode because it doesn't work right now. They'll probably patch it later, but I'm not waiting a week for them to fix it to play the game. 
I like the haircut. That's cool. Uh, oh, shit. My head's killing me. Ugh. Like that. That that seems uber useful. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of out. <laughs> what? Um. So, so you can do that. Can I just take off the toes? No, no. That's where they draw the line. Kneecap? No, okay. Hand. Okay. <laughs> we have an axe to grind, yeah. It's official. Don likes mutilating corpses. No, I just, I'm just seeing what the game lets me do. Are you okay? No, you're not okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, that's... So I guess the points of dissection are legs, arms, and head. All right. Good to know. Whatever that says. I need a translator. Um, I know I'm aware I'm going the wrong way. I like to go opposite ways to see if there's any secrets. What is this weird gel stuff? Oh. To emerge from polymer, use B. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? I heard something in there. Works for now. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. No, sir, you don't need those. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Remember in Division? Where, like, you'd find those little uh, spots in the in the city? And you'd, you'd, you'd listen to people talking when you'd go in them? <laughs> wow, that's... Oh, can I go in here? Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. These robots really messed y'all up, or didn't they? But Dawn, that gel is people, damn it. I see you, chicken. I see you, chicken. I see you. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yeah, chicken, 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 chicken. Shh. Chicken, chicken, chicken. 
We're eating good tonight. We're having chicken wings. I see you too. Chicken wings. Um, <laughs> um, so the pie came out good. Awesome grumpy bun. Grumpy bun made good pie. Whoa. I call the gizzards. Um, I used to eat like some of the gizzard stuff. Like, my grandmother used to put it in stuffing. So, like, I didn't mind eating, like, those parts, but I didn't like the livery parts. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a... Bacon! It's bacon! No, 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 no. Oop! Boink! Oh shit! Get the bacon! Bacon! IRL never really had good gizzards, but I do love beef liver. Hmm. Bacon? So we're we're having we're having bacon and uh, chicken tonight. I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Let me let me explain something. Anyone for some for some hog testicles? Um I'm really a nice person. I do things in video games I would never do in real life. So please don't let my behavior in a video game be a reflection of how I am as a person. Just saying. I know that there's a healthy distinction between video games and reality. Hence why there are flying robots that are attacking us. It is fake. These are just pixels. Pixel! 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 Oh, there's more gel. Swum through polymer plenty of times and haven't drowned yet. Dawn would it's never kill a pig so quickly, Earl. Oh shit! Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for your kneecaps. Oh! Oh, what the? Who the? Was that the chicken? Something hit me. What the fuck hit me? It was a chicken, wasn't it? The chicken was pissed off. Okay, I guess let's just keep beating up these robot people. <coughs> Um, did you just get hit by a chicken? I think I did. I think the chicken was pissed off. I like had wings of its brethren in buffalo sauce and a nice Chianti. Um, <laughs> I think I did get hit by a chicken. Um, hold on, let me put this away and put that over here. Um, and sit up straight. The science says that people who play violent video games are actually less likely to be violent. I'll, I'll go with that. I'm, I'm, I'm like super passive, but all the games I've ever played. Were, oh fuck! Wait, that was the. Ch fuck you! It was the chicken. In Soviet Russia, the chicken hunts you. <laughs> 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 
very good Gary the Great. I'd give you points if I had such a thing. Oh, wh oh what the fuck? Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where the fuck should I was start that? looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Is that hurting me? I guess that one is hurting me. The other one didn't hurt me. The one with the red hurt me. Or some shit. Look, watch. <laughs> Who's yelling for help? <clears throat> Is this cow bothering you? Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Uh. Evil cow! Get back here! Uh oh. We're gonna die from the cow. <laughs> We're almost dead. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. What are you, stuck in a toilet? <gasps> Fuck you! Get away from me! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, go fuck yourself. Uh, I don't think punching the robots going to do anything. <gasps> Rainy! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. You should be more careful. This place is a dark. Flawless victory. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Go Granny Xena. Fine, I Shit. get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone really? Anyone find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. <laughs> ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, <laughs> like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. You go, Grandma. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, uh. Where'd you get that thing? No. Give it to me. Oh. You hang on. To Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher.
Really? That's... Light up a stove? What a goddamn clusterfuck. How do we, uh, heal here? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me see, um, well, I guess they'll tell you. They'll tell, they'll tell us what we need to do. Oh, there's a guy over there. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. What's that? Oh, shit. I'll take that. She almost got away. Hold to play back. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident in the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in- Hey, who's there? <sighs> they found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady! This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Boop. Boop. Thank you again, Jimmy, for the 50 bits. Uh oh. Oh well. I tried. Open quick access menu to open the inventory wheel. Press and hold X. Oh. Gun. X. Small thing. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, there's a thing over there. In that room. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to like... Oh, well. I meant to get you down, but... Safe areas. Break rooms are the game's safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual save game machine. Oh. Okay, nifty. Um, oh, we got things. Synthetic materials, shotgun shells, small neuromed, blah, 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 and metal parts. Well, just make sure this is all loaded up. Okay. 
Um. <laughs> it's like weird. It doesn't work every time. All right. Oh shit. And the machines rose. Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press B to dodge. Okie dokie. Uh, Grumpy Bun says, I'm playing RuneScape and dealing with headaches from caffeine withdrawal. Oh, you gotta break away from caffeine little by little. If you do it all at once too quickly, yeah, you'll get those massive fucked up headaches. It is not a good situation. Hold on, I gotta make my chair a little tighter. I'm like falling backwards. Um, Grumpy Bun says, I also ate a homemade frozen burrito. <gasps> oh. I don't have a frozen burrito. Oh, actually, I do. I lie. I do have frozen burrito. I know what we have for dinner. I know what we have for dinner. <laughs> Melfina, thank you for the posture check and the hydrate. I'm going to do that right now. Thank you, thank you. Um, let me set the timer so in 17 minutes, I don't forget that Twitch is going to bother us for a commercial. Uh, 17. So I'll have it remind us in 15 minutes. Um, I had to cut caffeine while I was waiting to get looked at for kidney stones. Oh, so you couldn't, ha didn't have the uh, ability to slow down little by little. Oh, I'm sorry. Did You didn't plan dinner already? Who, me? I never plan dinner. I'm the, I'm hungry. I go in the kitchen and forage for plunder. Whatever isn't <laughs> expired or rotten, I eat. <laughs> That's how me and John live. We don't, we don't plan meals. We just, once in a while we plan a meal. But that, that's a rarity. Usually we just forage. So you're a trash panda. Yes, very much so. We are we are trash pandas. We we go to the supermarket, we buy a bunch of garbage, stick it in our refrigerator, and then slowly work our way through it till till suddenly there's nothing else in the there's nothing else in the fridge because everything's gone bad, and then we fill up the fridge again. Actually, John made some like turkey meatballs yesterday that weren't bad. A little bit too much heavy on the spices. Yeah, but, uh, all right, let's try this dodgy Man, thing. Dodgy! I'm that didn't work out very right well. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous, and they knock you down. Shit on a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? Shit on a shingle? Oh, fuck. I am the worst at dodging things. Did I mention this? <laughs> Press... <laughs> I like the little weird fallout guys. Um press A to get revenge. Hold on a second. Camera. Oh, for goodness sakes, camera, help me out and fucking focus. Don't worry, we will fix this problem. All right. <laughs> we're, 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 we're gonna fix the camera situation. Don't you fear. Um, all right. You, let me just say, in games, I hate... There are a few things I hate doing. Because... They're not instinctive to me. And I just don't like the parrying and dodging and blocking and shield. 
I'm not good at any of those things because it requires timing and reflexes, <laughs> which I have none of. If you save those party size snack barrels, save the jars after you finish them so you can use them to store dry goods like pasta, rice, and beans. I used to do that grumpy bun. I had the big, big, big towers of the uh, party mix, and I used to put like potato flakes and rice in there. But then someone told me those plastics from those barrels are meant to be one time use only plastics. So the plastic that it's made of will break down and get into your food if you keep it for too long the same thing with water water containers they, that's why i say don't don't keep reusing regular water jugs like buy particular jugs for water that are made from what is it bbp free whatever the hell um plastic so you can use those snack barrels temporarily, but don't make it a long-term solution. Cause um, yeah, I found that out. And so what BPA free, that's it. So what I did was I, cause I used to use those plastic jars, just I know exactly the ones you're talking about with the party mix in it. Um, I used it for rice and, and, and flakes, potato flakes and, and sugar. Um, I got rid of them and I bought OXO, it's O-X-O containers, um, airtight, made of the good uh, uh, BPA-free plastic, um, will be good forever. So I bit the bullet, they're a little expensive, but if you find them on sale at like Home Goods um, or Michaels or any of those kinds of places, the OXO containers, you can get, they have sizes for everything. They have ones for cereal, uh, ones that are perfect size for coffee. I bought two things for coffee. I bought one for the potato flakes, one for the corn, I mean, for the, for the rice, one for the sugar, and two for coffee. Um, and I, I really want to buy some more um, because, I, yeah, I used to do that all the time. I used to reuse those party things. And, and, and yeah, apparently not good to do. Um, so, yeah. Be careful, slowly replace them with, with real containers. And like um, John used to always refill water jugs. And I was like, we can't keep uh, doing that. Maybe we can do that a few times, but we can't like keep using that the, the water container because it's not good. Uh, Lead Bullet Junkie says, I reuse those plastic jugs to keep my sorted ammunition. <laughs> There you go. If you could keep, you could keep, that's what I do now. I keep the, I, I washed out those jugs that I used to use for like sugar and, and rice and stuff. Um, and now I use them for non-food storage. Um, I put a, um, one of them I put uh, all our bungee cords in because like w one time I bought a giant bag of assorted bungee cords because like we needed bungee cords for something a certain length. And the only place we could get that length was in this giant assorted bag. I was like, fuck it. I'll buy this giant assorted bag and we'll have bungee cords for the rest of our lives. Every single size known to man. We'll just bite the bullet and I'll fucking buy the whole big giant thing. So now we had all these different sizes bungee cords from like little teeny tiny ones to giant massive ones that were like two feet long. <laughs> so we put all the little bungee cords in, in one of those containers. <laughs> so yeah so now we use them for non uh, non non food things but I mean we grew up like that we had this discussion before where like you know you used to reuse the Cool Whip and the margarine containers uh, for things like that's how we grew up you were just trying to be frugal but turns out what the plastics they use in that leach into your food. And it's it's not so good. All right, let's try this again. Press B when I see the, all right. Press B. B! B! 
I didn't do it. Ooh. To collect resources and loot enemies, press and hold right button. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingo. Why didn't you tell me that before? It wouldn't hurt to collect collecting resources in mass. If there's a lot of crates in front of you, hold the right button in their direction and move from one to the other without releasing the right button. This will allow you to collect all the resources from the crates in one go. Oh, hell yeah, that is useful. That is cool. Now, Wolf Canis says, uh, reminds me now, I gotta change my water bottles. Yeah, rotate those suckers out. Um, butter bowls make great cereal and soup bowls. Yeah, that's when I was little, I remember you know, like we would use them as storage or in impromptu soup or cereal bowl. But again, those those butter bowls and stuff and margarine and Cool Whip things, the plastics are meant to be one-time use plastics. So eventually, little by little, those plastics degrade over time and those chemicals leach into your food. And, and it's really not good for you. So you got to be super duper careful. Are the resources you find along the way, Major. So, may I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size <gasps> on extraction. Yeah, it weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci fi times or something. It's like a backpack of holding. That is awesome. Oh, I'm loving this. So I could just... Oh, what's... Oh, and it's another thingy. Let's take a listen. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Granny! Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, comrade. Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Hmm. Oh, I love this auto-checking freaking thing. Oh, there's a lot of blood on the floor here. That is cool. Give me everything! Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to... What's that? Order. Date June 3rd, 1955. From Facility 3826, Deputy Director M. Stockhausen to Valve of Love Management. Order from Comrade Shetchev Sechnyov. Director of Facility 3826, all employees of Facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June 10th, 1955. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. Um, 
May 12th, 1955 from HR manager E. Smirnov. Security manager V. Nakyukov. Does everybody's name end in V? Now, in response to your inquiry, here is my evaluation of prisoner V. Petrov. Oops. Mental state, nervous, impulsive. Working at Pilotskaya Theater has had an obvious effect on the prisoner's psychological state. He has been obsessed with theatrical images for several months now and recites poems by some unknown poet in his sleep. Physical state, average physical health, occasional nervous tick. Security status, status. Flight risk, despite Comrade Sechnov's personal request not to use harsh methods to prevent his escape, constant surveillance is recommended. P.S. Officially, Petrov has been losing his marbles for a while now because of everything that's happened to him. Psychologically speaking, there is no objective cause that could have led to his psycho psychopathy and his obsession with the theater as a result i believe that the theater is more than just a workplace to him i suggest sending a team to search his workstation granny zena from security manager nick yov i'd like to call your attention to the fact that zenadia murayova AKA Granny Zena is not allowed to enter or approach the Sapling warehouse without authorization under any circumstances. Comrade Mariova has previously taken seeds and saplings of experimental flowers back to her dwelling under the pretext of performing an inspection, then cultivated them privately. Since these plants are in early experimental stages and may have characteristics that have yet to be fully studied, this could be dangerous. Don't react to Granny Zena's rudeness. Behave yourselves. Top secret. Order. Inform Comrade Sechinov about the incident in the germination workshop. Cordon off the hospital where the victim is being treated. Let no one into the ward other than medical personnel and Comrade Sechinov. Dmitry Shechnov. Oh, poop. We have to do a commercial. Granny was getting the buds. <laughs> My grandmother used to put soap cans on her gas heater to keep the air moist. The soup cans to keep the air moist since those old gas heaters would take humidity out of the air. Yeah, I remember we used to put, um... You know, like those aluminum trays that you put like a roast in or like a chicken or a turkey, those big um, uh, shallow aluminum pans that are throwaway like. We used to put those on top of our uh, radiators in the apartments um, with a little bit of water to let it evaporate. And then if you put things in there, it would make the, the apartment smell. So if it was Christmas time, <laughs> you put like some sprigs of like, uh, 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 pine in there and it smelled like pine. You put some sprig, you know, some uh, pieces of lemon and then it'll smell like lemon. But we gotta do a commercial, we'll be right back. Sorry about that. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're back. Hi. All right. Is stream bingo still working? Uh, yeah. It should be. I still don't have bingo. Wow. Um. All right. So this is the employees. Um. Well, this is a lot of people. They don't expect me to know all these people, do they? So, like, remember all these people's names? I'm bad with names, especially when they all end in Vich and Ov and Skaya. I'm gonna not remember any of these. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what else do we gotta do? Did we miss anything? I think we got everything. Is there a field of view in this game? Uh, uh sound effects, radio, streamer mode. Quality. Just controls. Huh. I guess there's there's no fav. No fav? You don't give me no fav? No no fav? Leon says I've been waiting two hours to say bingo. Aw. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even get to say bingo. And I can fudge things. And I didn't even get to say bingo. What do you need for bingo? We'll see if we can somehow... Did that chair move on its own? I swear it did. 
What do you need for bingo? We'll see if we can fudge things. All right, where's this crazy backpack that they said we had? All right, backpack. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I guess this Let's is go. called the speed. What's that? Shadow barged in. It's a raid. Everyone, grab your. Where's my freaking sporks? Grab your sporks and defend the frames that have dropped. They're trying to steal our frames. <laughs> Yeah, someone won bingo, but you can still get bingo. And then you can still win a spin on the wheel of non-prizes if you manage to fill if you if you, if you missed out on being the first one to get regular bingo. If you somehow manage to fill up your entire card, the first person who can do that then gets a spin as well. But that only happens very rarely. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Alright, shotgun shells. I guess this thing is called a speed. It's a swede. Um that's our shotgun. Auto sorting. Okay. Ammo. Clips. Okay. Um. Map. Darn it. No map. Lore. <gasps> there we go. This is this is the the section that I need. So that I can remember what everything is. Terry Shkavga. This anthropomorphic robot assistant is based on the Vav A6 and designed with the participation of Comrade Terra Skavala, the actress, cosmonaut, and decorated vet Soviet hero. It's the most advanced product of Facility 3826, addressing the shortcomings of the previous generation and introducing many new features, such as voice modulation and self-repair. Tereskova is one of the few robots independent from the collective ecosystem. Oh, see, that's good to know. That's why she didn't go bad. It still reacts only to verbal human commands. Perhaps after the launch of the collective, everyone will be able to enjoy a virtual Tereskova of their own. So that's why... Okay... Okay, interesting. Um, okay. Cool. I love when games thank you, game, for giving me a I don't remember shit area <laughs> to let me know where I can relook up stuff that either I missed or don't remember. It's not a sex doll. I see. I would. I just clean my house. Clean my house. Cook dinner. Let me move chat over here. All right. I spy with my little eye. What's that down there? Oh, there's a thing. Maybe we could sneak up on him. And then we'll go check those rooms out. Oh shit! Oh 
Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ow, 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 my hand. <laughs> I am... Run! Eat a thing. Do a thing where you... Where you... No. Oh, shit, he's running fast! Go oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, he dodging! He's stick and move! Woo! Okay. Alright. Okay. Give me your stuff, you bastard. Where did I get the other one? I'm hitting the button like Hogwarts to try and <laughs> to try and do the Leviosa. <laughs> Not Leviosa, the Revelio. Revelio. <laughs> oh, here it is. All right, Revelio. <laughs> Um, administration. Oh, okay. I turned the thing back on and now the signs will translate. Oh, shit. Alright, maybe we could be Sneaky Snake? Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Okay, that's what I was hoping. And if we get talent trees, we're putting it all in Sneaky Sneaky. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. No, fuck you. I was supposed to keep pressing it, I guess. I thought I was supposed to hold it. Please don't make me do all that all over again. Please say it's saved. And not from the save point. Please say... Please say it's saved from... Ah, oh, fuck a duck with... Fucking ducks. <sighs> Striker says, I wonder if there's weapon uh, degradation in this game. I wonder too. And now I'm kind of pissed off that I gotta. Oh shit. Now I gotta go through this shit again. This makes me not a happy person. Why would they make... I have a question. When you're going like this... Like... And I'm trying to look around like this. Why make dodge over here? Like, wouldn't it make more sense to... I don't know. Make, like, in or a bumper bee dodge? I don't know. That's just a personal preference, I guess. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Why'd you tell me? May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack? For storing items and equipment, it utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original I size. I hate doing things twice. Yeah, weird science. Did I ever huh? tell you guys like that? Sci-fi times or something. Turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything. You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade. What was that? I'm Granny Zena to you, sir. Don't you freak me out, dude. We aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade. Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Saving data. Really? I was always an Now I'm gonna have before, to keep running back and here and saving every five seconds. Here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. What's up? 
No, you haven't yeah. told us before. Can you say it again? Okay, so I guess I gotta Sneak keep hitting B. And perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Wonderful. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? I definitely gonna have to map some stuff to the back buttons at some point. Uh, was my, my measures did they get disabled from their butt? Um, I guess it's supposed to be like their lower spine, maybe. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need like a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. I chopped off your leg by accident, chat. <laughs> um. Here you go. It was that axe. A first time chat from viewer. Seems like everyone I watch play this is pretty much annoyed by this game in varying levels for various reasons. Eh. It's a, so far it's all right. I haven't played it long enough to really have any super complaints about it yet. I, I barely scratched the surface. Um, and hello and welcome Brian of the future. They're from the future. Shadav says, wait, why are we missing a leg? Chat, you're missing a leg because I went a little happy with the uh, ax there. I'm sorry. You were in my way. I just. It was. Okay, it's not an axe, it's a knife, but. I ain't a knife. It's a knife. Um. <laughs> we've only seen scraps of the game. Yes, um, Brian of the Future, if you stick around long enough, you'll see. We take forever to play games because I look at everything and comment on everything because I don't know. <laughs> we barely play the game. <laughs> my lag, my lag. What about it? You don't need it. I forgot I moved you over there. I'm going to put I'm going to put you guys over here up there. OK. Um, what does it say? Last night, lab assistants Sopkins uh, and Lip Yopskin taped a photograph. I, uh, these names are killing me. Taped a photograph of Comrade Shechenov to a vova. Hey, now, don't go taping photographs to people's vovas without their permission and allowed it to wander around. <laughs> Um, <laughs> DJ Goldie says, happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras to you too. Happy, what is it, Fat Tuesday? I certainly fit the description. Um, I should have made food or something for you guys. Um, 
Bless you and watch your mouth. Um, so someone taped a photograph of Comrade to, to the vulva, vulva and allowed it to wander around the halls in this state. Um, janitor Nef, Nef, Nefedova um, passed out when his vova <laughs> looked at her through a window. Give them an official reprimand. Um, order from Comrade Shechnov, director of the facility, 3826. All employees of the facility, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June. Make sure everyone's not... Okay, we saw that one. Employees. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Hi. Oof! That's going to leave a mark. Sorry. <laughs> Why is it that, that... I can't break the TV. What does this say? I see it. I see it. Grab your accordion and play Happy Labor Day. Um, what's up? Hold on, I, I, I need, I need, I need a tissue. Well, at least my nose stopped bleeding. It was bleeding earlier. It's so... Was that thing moving? Oh, gosh. Look, I got the twitchies. Can I just take off a finger? Boop. Oh! <laughs> Oopsie. Sorry. I'm not good with being delicate. Um... This is so much better. You know where I need this? I need this in like Fallout. Like, please let me search drawers like this in Fallout and I'll be so happy. This would be great. <laughs> All right, let's see what this thing is. Boop. All right, um, mail. Uh, last name, prisoner number, correctional facility, personality type. Politev Germination Workshop, hardworking, antisocial, Bogotsky. Okay, that's just. Okay, that's. And that's the order that everybody gotta do. Oh no. Have the following employees from the pesticide workshop escort the victim A to Val Complex. Be kinder. I would like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of Comrade Stalin's purges are over. Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Vavilov have committed various crimes, but they're still human beings and they're still our comrades. How we treat them here will determine whether or not they learn a lesson from their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. However, I have heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Let me remind you that this is neither a penal colony nor a prison. Be kinder, my friends. People carrying out sentences. So, okay. All right. Um, by the way, there used to be recipes in ye olden times when women baked special breads needed, kneeled by, needed by their... And they give them to men they're interested in. It sounds like some witchcraft stuff. I will make bread by pounding it with my breasts and then they'll fall in love with me. Yeah! Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? Honey, so where are why they? does this they taste like boob sweat? But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Okay. 
<laughs> Honey, why does this table like boob sweat? Um. Well, wasn't there things like, um, you know, you, you're supposed to take a piece of wedding cake and put it underneath your pillow and then you'll, you'll, you'll dream about your future husband. Like there was all kinds of crazy things women used to do. Um, I feel like I'm going to go back before I get, you know, get those guys and just keep doing this here. Okie dokie. Alright, let's see if we can sneak up on these guys. Oh shit. Oh! We gotta rotate. Let's stick. What? Oh, it's like fucking locked from like Skyrim. Oh, I almost had it. There we go. No. No. Okay. Oh. Um, you're fingering the eye of Sauron. <laughs> what? <laughs> I will allow the word fingering. Why not? Um. Their laws are as black as their hearts, and now they don't even pretend they steal without shame. This is where it starts. Tell us, Washington, where will it end? I thought. Grab your accordion and play. Happy Labor Day. Oh. Can we throw? No. I thought maybe we could launch. That would be kind of useful. There's a thing over here. Oops. No. I'm trying to do the... I'm gonna have to map this to something. I'm trying to do the mind thingy. <gasps> There's a guy there. Traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Okay, so just because I'm, I'm, oh, ah, oh. aha, uh -huh. that looks like something. Okay, we'll get to that later. Um, just because I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting people's names now. So did, did they say who, who hacked the thing? Maybe, um, more. See, no, give me the names of people. Oh, shit. Sprout. 
The Little Sprout is a link between the worlds of botany and zoology and the future of food production. Featuring a mixture of plant and animal proteins, it is the unprocessed food of the future. Cultivating sprouts is a humane alternative to animal husbandry. No longer will millions of cows and chickens have to be slaughtered on a daily basis to feed Soviet citizens. But I like bacon. Come on. Better yet, sprouts can move about independently. Healthy food will find its way to the hungry on its own. Well, I, I can get behind that, though. If, like, you're hungry and something just flies towards you to your mouth, like, you hungry? That, that's pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I can get behind that, for sure. Um... Um, I would like a thing for people, because I'm, I'm losing track of everyone's names. Um, chess. Please note that as of June 1st, the employee break rooms will be used by the chess club according to their capacity. Our best players happen to be from the security department, and given the Delantes of the blah, 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 team lost during the qualifying round, our strategists have the right to spend every free minute honing their skills. We've got a match against the lab assistants from Heliup coming up, and those guys know their stuff. The prize will be 18 boxes of candy for my private stash. Don't ask where I got them. Okay. So there's there's this dude, Sechov, who is the director. So who's the guy? Did they say this guy hacked the things? I, I missed the name with it. They said the guy hacked the... Hacked the thingies. Alright, let's get down. Anything else? Right. Can't be too careful. There's a guy down over here. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go save, because that's what the game is forcing me to do. Forcing me to go back and save every time, five minutes. Saving data. Okay. Boop. Come at me, bro. Fuck. Ow. Is there a way to lock on to them? Cause like when I try and moot the, I'm not fond of the, oh shit, the fighting. It's like, Hold on, is there a lock on? Because I'm looking and moving and I, everything, everything's all over the place. Um, I am not a fan of this fighting thing. Um, fuck auto aim, okay. Maybe that'll make things better, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Like, there's no lock on the dude? Maybe this will make it better? Oh, shit. Fuck! Okay, that did actually make things a little better. Whew! Okay. Um. What's going on? Thank you for the short scare, Thanis. And thank you for the scare, Melfina. I appreciate it. Thank you for using your channel points.
Okay, are there no more people? I think we're good for a little bit. What is that saying? There's a thing. What's up? Munches on tiramisu. I want tiramisu. Scientist. I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel, but I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Did the bush move? That body was moving. Where was the room with the hole in the wall? There it is. I'm just curious where that goes. Oof. Oh, that just goes in here. Well, that's boring. I don't have tiramisu. Ah. See, I had to test. I had to see if something would have happened. Toilet. Restroom. There's one in there. There's definitely one in there. You see? I see him. He's gonna wait till I least expect it. Well, he's not glowing red, so maybe, maybe it is okay. No. See, I knew it. Oh shit. Oh, I do not like that they zoom around like that. Ow, my hand. Um, give me your stuff, you bastard. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> Loving robots. My dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. Robots so realistic, they even poop. I guess, yeah. That's that's look crazy. Embryology. Robots are poopy sometimes. Robots are poopy sometimes. What does that say? Na oh, they're not letting me know. What is... It looks like... Oh well, okay. I guess we can't go over there. Damn it, why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to... <laughs> Oops. Something's wrong. Uh oh. Oh shit, oh, shit is right. What?
Hello, Zen Guppy. How are you? Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Eighteen. Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Oh. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Oh shit. What the fuck? Fucking lasers. We got lasers. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. no. What the fuck? Oh. Um, Okay, um, how about, how about we, okay, wait, 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 wait,
What? I'm never bad mouthing Bioshock Infinite Slock picking mechanics sever again. At least you didn't have the snap at things. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Is there a save? Is really I can't save whenever I want. I don't like that at all. And I'm only knocking them down because it's the only right thing to do because they shouldn't have to be up there like that. Um, the fuck? Why is that like that? Oh, there is a safety thing. What's this? Soda machine? Small blueprint. What the fuck? Fuck uh oh. Me. Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough jumps. Let me try you to the dead, baby. Who wants to who now? No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. What is happening oh, right now? I can't reach her. No, I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't know what's wrong, ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do? Am I supposed to be? I don't know. More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Um. <clears throat> what? What? I don't. I don't know. What? What just happened? Should I go have a cigarette? Do, do you need a minute, chat? What is? What is? What just happened there? Did we have sex? Choose a skill. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Your glove can produce an electromagnetic discharge that targets enemies and deals electric damage. Robotic targets are especially, spe but oh, we know it's getting, we know Dawn's getting tired and hungry when she can't speak anymore. Robotic targets are especially vulnerable to electricity. Well, yeah, let's buy that then. That sounds like a good investment. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can what? make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give no you the glove. time no of love. your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more. More? Yes. What is going on? What is happening right now?
The controller's happy. Chat is confused. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, agreed. Wow, the future is wild. Crushing blow. Round attack. A crushing roundhouse blow, starting and ending with the first target, adds a special attack. So you install. can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although My computer is over here humping a pillow. Lol. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, comrade major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't okay, wait for your next time, to buy us a drink first. With lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Chat, I'm going to give you your leg back. Oh, look, I can make the controller disappear. Whoa! Okay. That was, um... I feel like I need a shower now. Um... Um, let's save. <laughs> Fading data. Okay. Um. Alright, I think maybe... <clears throat> I think maybe we'll, we'll, we'll stop here, um, for the night. I think it's a good place to end for right now, right? Was it good for you, chat? Was it good for you? Did you save? Yeah, I saved um, as soon as I walked in the door and I saved again. So, yes. Um, uh, yeah. All right. Well. Where's chat? There's chat. Hi. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's Atomic Heart. Um. <laughs> Good place to end. Okay, you said it, not us. <laughs> Fantastic finish, yeah. Huh? Oh boy. Um, Stryker says, are you going to be on tomorrow? Um, it's not a scheduled stream day, but, um, if I do finish other things that I need to do, um, I, I, I might come on. So what, what I would suggest is to, um, is to check the socials, which I'm gonna put up right here. There you go. Um, check the socials, um, the Twitters, the Facebooks, the Discords, all the things. Burp. 
So this was interesting. What did you guys think of Atomic Heart? Should we keep playing it? I mean, we're going to keep playing um, Hogwarts, of course, too. Um, but uh, I don't know if this is something I should just fiddle with on my own time. Or, or if you guys would uh, like to see more. <laughs> um, you let me know. <laughs> wow, game. This will be a rough year for your hands. Oh, for sure. For sure. Bioshock ripoff that's lacking in some of the more enticing game mechanics so far. Hmm. Um. Let's see who we got. Uh. Sure. Let's go at it. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> All right. So, uh, for your streaming pleasure, we have Timmy the Termite is doing software and game development. Um. Where is everybody? Pumpkin Potion is playing or doing Blanc. Playing Blanc with Party Demoness. Gift from Gearbox. B L A N K. What is Blanc? I need to know now. I'm just curious what Blanc is. B L A N K Store I'm um, B L A N C. Oh, I have whatever it is, it's on my wish list. Oh, Blanc is an artist camera. We're gonna get this fixed, chat. We're getting it fixed. Blanc is an artist cooperative adventure that follows the journey of a wolf cub and a fawn stranded in a vast snowy wilderness. They must come together in an unlikely partnership to find their families. Um, it just came out on the 14th and it only has mixed reviews. Aw, that kind of sucks. I was hoping, I was hoping it would be better. That's poopy. Um, so yeah, um, let's see, let me grab Timmy's <laughs> info here. So there are your choices. Um, thank you, Thanos, for using your channel points. I appreciate it. <laughs> it shows you're interested. And the more that you guys use your channel points, um, because then you can't make me sing. <laughs> so as usual, um, I'm trying to stall here because I'm waiting for people to get back from commercials because Twitch. Um, let me, uh, thank you DJ animation for hydrating Pando. Okay, everybody's back now from the commercials. I'm sorry about that. Um, Twitch has a way of having perfect timing. So now that everybody's back, um, thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out and playing my silly games with me and seeing what we're doing. Um, Cause there's a, a few new people. Here the, here's the socials. Um, here's the schedule. Hold on. Let me wait for it to all go. So there's the socials that'll let you know when I'm on again. Uh, Twitch isn't always good at letting people know. So I would check the, the Twitters or the Facebooks or the other things. The schedule, usually I'm on Saturday 2 to 5-ish. Usually longer, way longer. And Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Um, usually, definitely from 9 I mean, from 5 p.m. Eastern on. Um, but sometimes I start earlier if I'm, you know, wanting to play a game desperately. And then there's always pop-up streams. But uh, so that's why I say uh, follow 
follow the twi the the Twitch's Twitters and things and this and that. <laughs> um, so tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be on. I'm not scheduled to be, but we'll 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 see how antsy I get wanting to play Hogwarts Legacy or this. Um, I'm definitely gonna see if I can remap some of the buttons in the back here to uh, to do the 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 really weird. What the heck is that? Something just made a noise in the room, and I'm here alone. Um, so, the, to, to have the scan be tap, tap, hold is really weird to me. So, I don't know if I can... I'm going to see if I can program a two-button sequence to the back... One of these back panels. One of the back paddles. I don't know if that's possible. Here, let me see... Um, hold on. <coughs> uh, I'm choking. Um, Xbox. Um, Xbox accessories. No, check. There's check. So here's the the configure. Uh, configure? Hello? This controller... Oh, you! I have to actually physically plug it in. Okay. There you go. It's plugged in now. Configure. Presto changeo. It's, it's plugged in. Do you not like that USB? Okay, now it's plugged in. All right. Let's see. Configure. See, there's Hogwarts, Outer Wilds. Um, configure. Um, see if we can make this. Um, This paddle here. Um. Hmm. I can all. I uh, yeah. I can only make the paddle be a button. It looks like. It doesn't look like it lets you. You can't program it like a like a like a uh, keyboard and make it be multiple buttons. That's not, that's poopy. Um, that's unfortunate. I'm sad. I am sad. Oh well. Um, not a big deal. It's all right. It's. I'll just have to get used to that. It's a. We. It's just awkward to uh, do that button sequence. All right. All right, let's go to the... Oh, shit. Why is... <clears throat> My whole thing disappeared. Hold on a second. Why did that happen? All right, copy. I taped... I, I, I typed read and then it disappeared. All right, so let's just go to the credits. Thank you! Again, everyone, for coming out and playing my silly games. Um, let's see if I can get through all of this here. This stream was made possible by and continues because of contributions from viewers like you. Thank you for your support. Until next time, spread joy! Cheers! 
Icarus, Jimmy vs. Timmy, Bloody Angel, uh, Curved Planet, Sora, Strikers, Thanos, Tomo, Spider, DJ Animation, Shadow, Blood Raven, Zor, Mods, Jim, Shadow, and Thanos, and Followers, Nighthawk, and Subs and Reha Subs from Thanos and Small Town Rider, and Raids from Shadow. Thank you so much for coming out and playing the silly games with me. I really do appreciate it. Please, if you can, go and subscribe follow on on YouTube because I need a thousand people I have it on Twitch I just don't have it on YouTube because I made the YouTube channel later so help me out go and subscribe thank you very much for hanging out we might be on tomorrow keep an eye out but if not definitely Friday at 5 p.m. have a great evening go say hi to Timmy bye spread joy be a good human. It's easy. Just don't be an asshole.